Howdy, folks. It is, um, oh, what, what day is it, actually? It's Monday, I think it's Monday, May 22nd at 6.47 p.m. I guess judging by the title screen, it's a cloudy day, but also it lies a lot, so. Um, not sure. Um, let's see. Did I? Okay, this looks right. I just want to make sure I didn't screw anything up. How's our map looking? Okay, looks like everyone's in place. I don't know why. I just sort of got paranoid that I screwed up the save file or something. Um, okay, so we gotta haul our butts over to the bank. Um, I was running around a lot today, and uh, I did a little bike ride, and I just got home. I uh, probably should have waited to, like, recuperate a little bit, but um, if I'm gonna finish this mystery without recording extra episodes, I need to uh, not get distracted by things like picking up mushrooms and um, get to the bank before 7 p.m., I think. So we'll see if we can accomplish that. Okay. I think all you have to do is hold this up. Hey there! How are you doing today? What's that you got there? You want me to hang on to this? Is this some sort of lucky charm? Why, how thoughtful of you. I shall always keep it at my side. I hope this means I'll finally have a peaceful night. Okay, I think that was the first time I tried George's voice. I don't know how it turned out. Okay, so, um, alright, I think that's all we had to do before 7 o'clock, but just in case. I know you also, like, stop by the Emporium and try to, like, talk to Malila or something. Ah, <sighs> she's still here. At least she's wearing something a little cooler. Are you feeling a little down or something, Geoff? I'm right, aren't I? Tell me about it. Rudolph asked me for a wake-up call. When I asked him what time, he said 5 a.m. So I said, no way, I'm still sleeping then. You know what I'm saying? But you know what, I ended up agreeing to help him out. Do you think I let people take advantage of me? I don't know. <sighs> oh man. I think this is our first rainy day in a long ass time. Um, hey Brett, what's up? Oh, hello Geoff. I'm in such a good mood, you have to excuse me for skipping your welcome punch. Jeff and Rora are going steady. Yeah, that's true. Ugh, no! What's up with the gloomy face is that you don't want to be best friends anymore. Ugh, it's not even like I wasn't playing that often or anything. I'm so bummed. It's really hard to like get your keep your friendships intact. I know it's really easy with Aurora, but all right, Eric, please stay away from me. I mean, I don't know. So I'm guessing that Eric's gonna be the next one to ask to leave, and I, I I'm gonna need to be logging on every day. I won't save any like I won't make any unsaved unrecorded progress, um, but I'll just check. Okay, incantation, you see, seek. Remember to say it when you see the werewolf before you. I don't know. I don't think that's really her voice, but whatever. Um, okay, so... So yeah, I'm gonna check every day, and if, even if he asks to stay, if he won't accept if he won't decide to say, then I probably won't even bother recording it. Or maybe like, okay, so I'll do it. And if he asks me to meet him at Lover's Point to ask if he, we should, if he can stay, or like if we want him to stay. Um, oh yeah, she saw the same thing. Um, then I will, I'll like tentatively record it, but I'll only keep the record. Like I'll, if he, if I go to Lover's Point while I'm recording and he says no, then 
I will... Oh, that's not what I want to do. Oh. Hey. Hey, let's hang today, okay? Yeah. Oh, great. Well, let's do that right now. <laughs> okay, I was just out over nothing. Thank God. I really did not want to not be boyfriends with him. I mean, best friends. I mean, boyfriends. Well, is our outfit okay? Well, I, yeah, I'm just gonna go over because we have eight minutes left before seven o'clock, so I'm scared of losing the appointment if I went to home to change. I can change, uh... Did I keep you waiting? He probably just wanted to, like... He just wanted to renew our vows. Great, you're here. What I was gonna ask you was, do you wanna be my assistant? I mean, we'd be like partners in crime. We could play tricks on people together. Yeah. Whew. That was such... That, I was so nervous just now. Because I don't... I didn't think he was actually gonna leave, but, you know. That would have been bad. So I had, um, some boba today. I, I found a new boba place in town that's not a donut shop. Um, and it actually does have really good boba and really good cheesecake. Um, well, I'm just saying I think the cheesecake's good. They have, like, 18 kinds. Um... But, um, so I got this, uh, Dolce de Leche, I don't know how to pronounce that, kind. It was really good, it was basically like drinking a liquid donut, though, it was, so it was very sugary, and I still feel a little, a little ill. I mean, not, like, seriously ill, but, like, I think my body's a little mad at me. I also got my blood drawn today, and apparently most of my cholesterol's normal, but, like, my triglycerides are high. Um, so I don't know what that means or what to do about it. I don't know if I need to start taking uh, oh, a, a huge jellyfish. I'm gonna catch this snail in the water too. Come here, you little snail. You medium snail. Um, so yeah, if you know what it means to have tr high triglycerides, comment below. I mean, I've I won't be. I won't have posted this video until like two months from now. So, I'm sure by the time you tell me it means I'm about to die, I'll have already, you know, dropped dead. I think I might be in love at night while gazing up at the moon. I can feel my heart beat beat pounding, and the cool breeze. So I heard on the phone. I mean, that's what happens when you're in love, right? I feel like I never really have fully gotten Eric's voice back. It needs to sound like one of those automated phone messages. The last time I went into the woods, I saw someone there. And its shadow was shaped like a wolf. Seriously, I was scared stiff. It ran away once I screamed, though. For some reason, its face looked familiar. So, I heard on the phone. Maybe. Nah, never mind. I must have been seeing things. Ah, <sighs> let's take Red to Limelight. <clears throat> Uh, I'm gonna pause real quick. Okay, I'm back. That took a second. Um, I guess Kawaii is now playing. <laughs> uh, oh shoot. Oop, my bad. I'm sorry. I actually did want to get juice. Sorry we just sat here for like 10 minutes. Not ordering juice. I can't remember if I talked about this, but the other day I was super, super stoked. Like, I'd just been thinking about, for like a week, like getting excited to play Oxen Free 2. Even though, like, I wasn't, I don't know. The first game, I liked it, but it, it's not my typical game. I, I don't like games that, like, don't have. I don't like. Hmm, I don't know. I don't like stories that feel, like, so. I don't know. I don't want to spoil anything, so I will try not to, but, like, the ending just felt very unresolved. And I know that's the point, but I still hate it. Um, so, but regardless, it was really fun, and it just has such a 
cool atmosphere. I think that's really what is good about the game is the, the incredible sense of atmosphere, the music and the art together. It's just really amazing. Although that said, I'm not as big of a fan of the new art style. Um, but I was like, oh man, it's it's out. I can't wait to play it. And then I look and it's apparently it's not out. Apparently it um, comes out um, at like in like July or something. I have no idea how I got into my head that it was already out. I, I guess I must have seen like, oh, you know what it was? I probably saw a video labeled like release date trailer and thought that meant it was the, it was released on the release date, the trailer was, but um, it was the trailer with the release date. I guess that must be what it was. Ugh, what do you want, Zoe? Hi, Joff. Bonjour. I was shopping the other day and ran into Felicia. We stopped to chat just for a bit. And I completely forgot about my shopping. You ready for this? I finally remembered when I got home, but I could not be bothered anymore. Does that ever happen to you? No, because I try not to talk too much to people I'm not a fan of. Speaking of Felicia, though, we should go see what she's up to. I actually do kind of like her. Prob probably not enough to date her, but I like her a lot more than some of our other recent neighbors. Hey, Felicia, what's up? I feel like depressed characters are always in their, um, houses. Geoff, I hope you're feeling well today. Is there something I can help you with? I can't believe how some people don't get the sweetest bit shy about strangers. I become so tongue-tied, I can barely speak sometimes. It's amazing to me when I see a kid just casually training with someone you just met. I just can't ever think of anything to say. That's why. And I'm always worried they'll say you're putting me a freak the other person out. So I don't say anything, and people just assume I'm not friendly. Good lord, that was a long story for... I heard if you want to be a werewolf, you have to use something silver. But there's no way I'm getting into a fight with one of those things. I do carry a silver spoon around with me just in case. If a werewolf tries to attack me, I can throw the spoon there and run away. That's why. You think a werewolf spoon that guy would really do the job? Probably not. You'll probably get um, torn to bits. Um, but I like that you're. I like your optimism. It's good to be prepared even if what actually no that's not true. It's probably worse to be prepared if the thing you have uh to be prepared with is actually completely fucking worthless. Um I feel like that's a worse feeling when you thought you were prepared whereas uh as opposed to, you know, not being prepared at all. Uh-oh. Do we need clear weather for this mystery? Oh, okay. Okay. Um Oh, what? Oh no. I was supposed to use the incantation earlier. Oh, woo! Okay, what is it? This. You. See. Seek. I feel like this has nothing to do with werewolves, but alright. Is that what you're supposed to do? Okay. I don't think that's a very good incantation, but all right. Oh man, I have to pee really bad. Sorry, I'm gonna have to pause again <laughs> in a second. I don't have to really apologize because you guys can't perceive the passage of time. I mean, as humans, you can't. No, it's just like, you know, when I pause it. Oh, dum dum dum. It was actually the goat guy. What a thrilling ignition. Huh? Where? Where am I? Jeff, what are you doing down here? What? You mean I'm the werewolf? Uh, I can't do this voice. And Jeff, you saved me. Now that I think about it, I do remember once being attacked in the woods by a large beast. <clears throat> Alright, hold on. Let me try this again. I was lucky enough to escape with only a few scratches. But they must have been worse than I thought. They're the reason I became a werewolf. All right, I'm sorry for this voice, I really am. Now, thanks to you, the curse has been broken. Thank you so much. You can't imagine how much this means to me. Oh man, I didn't want your whole life story, dude. All right, well, we finished a mystery. Good for us. Thanks for your help, Brett, as you 
try to s stamp on this uh, centipede. It is fun to step on bugs, but it doesn't do anything. Um, okay, so what else to do now? Let's go find a war and hang out with her. I miss my I miss my penguin goyle. My goyle friend. Oh, I don't miss you, Eric. I will miss him when he's gone a little bit. I don't think anyone will compete with his creepiness. Ooh, you know, if Aurora breaks up with us, that's going to be bad news, because I think the new move out will be soon. Bum, bum, bum. I feel like I have to talk to them twice to make sure they don't actually want to break up with you. George, apologize for scaring me. That werewolf must have been George then, right? I haven't heard any howling lately or seen any scary shadows. My senses tell me. I guess that means I can finally get a good night's sleep. All right, well, let's just chill here for a second. I'm going to pause the game. Well, I don't know. Like, should I? I don't know. You guys can chill. I'll just, I'll pause the game and... I don't know. I don't want you guys to hear me peeing in the background, though, so I'm gonna have to pause. So, if anything happens important, then I'm sorry. She's in heaven. Oh god, I forgot to, uh... I forgot to stop my Pikmin flowers from planting, and I probably lost, like, several hundred. Oh lord. Alright, I'm gonna pause again to take care of this one sec. <laughs> Oh my god, and I was planting blue petals. I'm so dumb. Ugh, no. I lost so many blue petals. I'm an idiot. Oh god. Okay. <sighs> Alright, well, that's fine. I'll just have to farm blue petals a bit more. Um, Alright, so... What's happening? How are you, Aurora? Hi there. You always seem to be having fun, Jeff. I think that's wonderful. All right, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, I don't know. Should I... Should I give their matchmaking a rest? I feel like no. I feel like we should continue. But we have to make sure that Brett doesn't zap Aurora again, because that, like, erases all the progress ever. All right, first all... No, 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 no. Oh my god, that was so close. It's like he was about to zap her through the table. There we go. It's like a, it's like a stealth game, practically. All right, now Brett's a little confused. Well, we've pretty much heard most of his dialogue. I'm just zipping through this now. Grr, wet and muggy. I hate the rain. What's the point of it? Hey, guess what I saw? Tony was having fun playing in the library. What's with that? Though that's what it's called, the library? That was just called the tower. I do remember that, though. He, like, disappeared when we tried to bully him. Alright. I think that's enough. Yeah, Aurora, let's talk. Well, actually, well. Oh, they're talking through the table. Oh, they're talking about Zoe. Okay. So now we should impersonate Brett, but hopefully we can do it without him seeing us. Oh, it's not it's not going very well. He he keeps looking at us. Can you turn around real quick, Brett? No? Okay. Oh yeah, 
Yeah, it's talking about how much he loves the idea of pre uh, being able to inflict police brutality. I respect his honesty. My friend sent me an email. Oh, okay. It actually happened to me. My dad, my dad, um, emailed me about family medical stuff. Today I forgot my homework. Mr. Graves told me off. He said I mustn't leave my homework at home. From now on, I'm going to pack all my stuff for school before I go to bed. Mr. Graves is a really good teacher. I don't want to let him down again. Well, she's being a bit of a goody two shoes, actually. Okay, so Brett's coming up too. Brett, what up? So he has a major drawback. I totally believe it. George seems better, doesn't he? I couldn't believe it when I heard he was a werewolf. I'm so glad he's back to normal. Today just never felt the same without his morning greeting. Oh yeah, we can like finally use the bank again. I kind of forget what I was like needing to use it for, but... All right, so I gotta make sure to hang out with Aurora before she goes to bed, but that's like an hour and a half from now, so I, I doubt that'll happen. Um, we have a mystery time thing starting, like a seasonal mystery starting uh, pretty much, well, in two days, so it'll probably be like next episode. Although, next, you know, the next episode will be the mystery time, and then after that. Um, okay. I do want to change again, though. Let's change into something... Very Brett centered. And then, um, do we have, uh, okay, baseball cap. And then, um, rip jeans sounds good. cute, I guess. I don't know. Maybe maybe different shoes. We could do the normal sneakers. Or camo shoes. Or spiked shoes. Yeah, that was a good, like, I really like condensed milk. Um, partially because it's the name of Tutu, my favorite character in in her in original Japanese, my favorite Animal Crossing character. All right, well, that's okay, but a little boring. That's fine, too. What about spike shoes? Yeah, let's, let's do that, I guess. It's good to look a little tough every now and again. Oh. I, mean, I really am hungry for dinner though. I might take a dinner break. Let's see what some of our other buddies are up to. I'm curious how Wyatt and uh, Ralph and Cherry are. Hmm, I don't see Ralph. He's probably in the classroom. Cherry's home, but I hate Cherry's house. I kind of don't want to go inside. 
Uh, briefly, it's okay, I suppose. So Joyce has been cured. How has, ha, has he? You know, I couldn't believe that he was the werewolf. Of course, we can't blame him. It's not his fault. We should just be happy that he's back to his normal self again. Still, he did apologize to everyone for the trouble he caused. He's such a nice guy. Mmm, sweet. It's nice to know that the town is back to normal again, isn't it? I guess so. It's nice how your skin gets all moist on rainy days. Mmm, sweet. But I'll catch a cold if it's moist all the time. You know what I heard? Aurora is really cool, according to the rumors. By the way, I haven't heard a rumor lately about how cute I am. Oh my god, she will not shut up about this. Some people think gabbing is a waste of time, but not me. There's tons of new things you can learn and discover by talking to people. That's really true when I talk to you, Geoff. You remind me how important friends are. Eh. I'm just not into the idol personality, I guess, because I like her appearance, but she's starting to turn me off. I always wear a smile on my face. You want to know why? Because I'm going to be a star. Makes sense, right? Stars are always smiling. Mmm, sweet. So I don't want you to get upset if you tell me bad news and I don't look worried about it, okay? Yeah, uh, I don't know. I really wanted a nice side piece or like a side dessert in, ter in cherry, but like, I'm just not feeling like it's working. I don't know. How, how do I uh, spice up our relationship? I'm gonna I'm gonna pause again to open the RAM watch tool one sec. Okay, so yeah, we're back to max with Brett, but with Aurora, we're one below max, so we gotta keep trying. I guess we need to check out Daisy's flowers, if only for the hammock. I don't know. I really don't want to keep planting trees, but I probably should. Hmm, lattice fence. I guess there's not a reason not to buy this. Alright, how are we doing on space? Ugh. Not enough space. Alright, I'll, I'll maybe come back, but probably not. Hmm, okay. So I think I'm gonna hang out with... Oh, well, I should probably sell a couple of these things. Well, I don't know. It's not very... Not very lucrative, but whatever. No, that is not what I meant to do. I don't know why I did that. So I played some more Root yesterday. We actually played two rounds. We played... 1v1v1 with the Vagabond, the Eerie, and the Cats, and the Eerie completely decimated us all. Um, I, I don't know, it's just like, the Eerie, you know, if they really get moving, they can get like five points every turn, or four or five points every turn, it's just obnoxious. <laughs> And like I was the vagabond in the in the first game, so I couldn't like do anything. Um, like I I know this is just gibberish, but basically the, the vagabond doesn't have any armies; he's just by himself. So, like you can't stop a whole army. <laughs> um, I was trying to get points as fast as I could, but it just wasn't happening. And uh, anyway, then I played against the same guy, who's a friend of mine. Uh, he was eerie, and I was cats this time, and I did a lot better. I did manage to win that time. The key is you have to you have to be very aggressive against the Eries to stop their uh, stop their re uh, their their decree their progress. All right. Um. Sorry. I don't know what I'm doing. I need to go hang out with Aurora. That's what I said I was gonna do.
wonder what who's doing. I'm so confused by Aurora sometimes. She just spaces out. Staring off into nothing. Okay. Are, are we... I know that the second I wave at her, she's going to be the one to say that we should hang out. Maybe not. Alright. Okay. Always hanging out in the love nest, like napping while Aurora watches. But I think we'll um, let's go upstairs and hang out in the the um, in, in the altar to the meat and bone. Let's chill in the meat room for a little bit. The meat locker. Well, I'm going to grab a bite to eat, and I will be back in a little bit. See you in a sec. Oh my god, okay. I'm back. Um, I am sorry that I was gone for so long. Um, not that it felt like a large amount of time to you. Um, but it's now like 9.09, uh, a little past Aurora's bedtime. And uh, I don't know, I had some dinner, and then I... Went upstairs to continue recording, and I, I just sort of collapsed on the bed. I sort of felt like I was about to pass out. Um, I think what it was is that, uh, I mean, I, I got my I got a huge amount of blood drawn today. And um, I think I forgot that, you know, I should probably take it kind of easy after that. Or, I don't know, maybe biking after that was not the uh, best idea. Anyway, I'm okay, though. I think... Uh, I'm just gonna take it kind of easy tonight. Well, I don't know. I'm getting dangerously close to falling below tier 80 in Mario Kart, which sucks because, like, I really like collecting tickets. Um, I now have almost 200 of every uh, high-end ticket in that game. Not kidding. Um, that took, like, a year and a half to create. Maybe it's, like, two years, actually. But anyway... It's definitely quite a stockpile, and I'm going to try to use it when I finally, um... Oh, you know, when I finally, um... What am, what am I trying to say? Use your words, Chiaf. If a Birdo ever gets a badge, I will be using it for that to try to get to top 100, or... I don't know. Top 10 seems a bit unachievable, even with that many tickets, but we'll see. Alright, how are we doing here? Let's go shopping. I don't know exactly what to do with Aurora. Maybe we could go beat up Cherry. Since she can't stop being jealous of our pretty girlfriend. Center speaker. Yeah, I don't know. Is there something is there anything you're supposed to eat like after you get blood drawn? To um I don't know. To help recover or something? I don't know. Alright. Um, I do like this. I might... I kind of like this too. Aristocratic floor. I might as well buy this. If it's not... Yeah, that's not too bad. Need to shove a bunch of this into the bank soon. It really does not feel like worth coming up here, but I guess we'll never get the final song if we don't. I really don't know what it's called, but I have all these. I do have exoskeleton, right? No, I'm not trying to save my game. Yeah, 
Yeah, I do. I don't really remember what it is, but... But anyway, um, <clears throat> but the annoying thing is that I have two stinking boomerang drivers in my ranked this week, and oh my god, it, it is so incredibly annoying to try to farm for boom boxes. Like, I'm, I'm in some more competitive Mario Kart communities, mostly in the Franz Frenzy Fans um, group, because they're like... They're just such a, like, they're such a nice, warm group. Like, I honestly was, I don't think I would be half as comfortable being competitive in Mario Kart if I, um, oh, hey, Tony, if I weren't in there. They're just really chill and nice people. No, I know he's going to ask us to be friends, and I don't want to. But, like, I don't know. It's just, like, so many other Mario Kart communities. I mean, they're they're nice, but, like, I think in any community that's very competitive, and I think Splatoon is part of this, too, it's just, like, you get a lot of toxic people. And I, I, I don't like people throwing that word around, um, like, willy-nilly or whatever. I feel like it is a bit overused like gaslighting and narcissistic but um it is definitely <laughs> it's definitely true there's a lot of, like and all these communities like there's this thing about like i don't know this it's possible to over optimize to the point where a game is just not fun anymore you know definitely true with splatoon okay that's a cool floor but it definitely doesn't go with this uh, I don't know. This is all right, but it kind of, I don't know. It feels like all the creepy stuff is sort of out of place now. Hmm. But that really doesn't go with it either. Or does it? Maybe it does. It's all right. Maybe I need to bring the other wall back. That doesn't really work, I don't think. I'll leave it like this for now. Anyway, how is everyone doing on the other side of YouTube? It's really weird. It's, it's, it makes me sad that, like, these conversations... I mean, I'm not really... <laughs> I don't really converse with people in the comments that much. I mean, I would if, if there were comments. I, I try to always reply whenever I can. Um, but... I, um, it bums me out that, like, even if someone does comment, they're talking to a version of myself that was, like, two months in the past. <laughs> I mean, I guess it's, like, one month now. I'm more, like, one month behind. Like, one month and one week at this point. But we'll see. Yo, Brett, what up, buddy? Um, I guess we don't really need to do anything here. I could bring Aurora over to Cherry's house and see how they get along. Or I couldn't because Cherry is either asleep or uh, out traipsing around town. But anyway, it, it drove me crazy. I, I got home from biking on Saturday and I made dinner. And by the time I was done, it was like 9 p.m. And so I sat down, I was like, I have all this time, I'll catch up on Magician's Quest stuff, I'll, I'll, um, I'll do a little Mario Kart stuff. So I sit down, to, and I was just like, okay, well, it's Saturday, so I have plenty of time, I'm just gonna, like, um, uh, what did I want? Oh, I wanted to maybe consider bringing back the other creepy floor. Or the creepy wall. Is it the dirty walls? No, haunted house walls. 
Um, oh wait, but the haunted house floor, I'm gonna try that too, even though I don't think it'll really work. Okay, we don't really need these. And then I do want my instrument back, please. Is it under here? Okay. Um, okay, yeah. Because why it's not off and around. Oh, I'm so sorry. I think I bumped the mic there. My bad. Um, anyway, but I, I, start, I was like, okay, so I'll hop on. It's 9 p.m. I have plenty of time. I'll just do a little... See if I can do a little boombox grinding. I It took me like an hour to get a lobby that was correct, like with all the, you know, coin boxers and whatever. It took a while. And then I started boomboxing. I swear to God, I did not... I, I looked up and it was like 1 a.m. I was like... I had raced for so long, I basically felt nauseous. And I just like don't understand how competitive Mario Kart players do that shit like three times every single week. Like, that is such a miserable existence. And I, I don't know, maybe maybe if you're used to it, it's not that bad. For me, it was absolutely awful. I was seriously there for four hours trying to get a stupid boombox. And um, I think what's annoying is I think I actually did get a boombox plus coin frenzy. But um, I just got clobbered by the computers and ended up in like fifth place or something. God, just thinking about it is like giving me PTSD. <sighs> but I am going to try tomorrow again, I guess. I don't know. I should probably do some more tonight, too. Just because I really don't want to go below tier 80, but it's just like, ugh. I don't know. I, I really miss the days when, like... When gaming was just gaming, you didn't have to do stuff every day for, like, these stupid battle passes and everything. It's like, it begins to really feel like an addiction that's, like, not good for your life or whatever. It's hard, though, because, like, sometimes I really do enjoy Mario Kart, and I, sometimes I really do enjoy Splatoon. Even though, but, like, the, having to play every day is a bummer. And it's with Pocket Camp, too. It's like, I have been enjoying this spring a lot, actually, now that the King Goliath Thrive is back, and we have a really good month that I actually really love. Um, but it is, it is a real bummer. Oh, here's Cherry. All right, well, Aurora, if you're not a fan of Cherry and you want to do something, I will support you. I'm giving her the chance now. <laughs> Just what was I doing? I can't remember at all. Well, it's no big deal anyway. Guess not. Alright, let's skedaddle. Alright, um, I think that's about all I wanted to do with Aurora. Um, oh, I thought, okay, somehow my keyboard got weird. I, um, I thought that it was stopping me from... Alright, I guess... Let's hop in the restroom and check on what's new. Yes, I have some quote unquote errands to run. God, I'm so brain dead. I'm, I'm sorry. That's not how you do it. <laughs> I'm dumb. All right, let's try that again. I should know this shit by now. But yeah, I'm dreading that tomorrow. It's gonna be annoying AF. Can I my enemies? Your friends, eh? You mean Aurora? Okay then, listen up. 
See, recently, Yor has lots in common with Rudolph. Ew. Well, are you happy now? No, absolutely not. Good, see you around. She's very busy. She has lots of poop to sort inside the toilet. Alright, um, well, I kind of... Well, no offense, Aurora, but we actually, I do have to call it quits today. I do want to give you a Marguerite, though. Here you go. Oh, she loves us. She's so sweet. Aw. You have the best girlfriend. I always say it. It's very true, though. Oh, you know, I thought there was, um... I thought there was an episode happening right now. I'm gonna check that out. One second. Oh, god. Yeah, it should be. Um, okay, I'm gonna double check where that is. I might be missing something. One sec. Okay, um... Actually, we might be able to get all six dialogues for this. This is not... I thought that they... I was not reading carefully last time. I thought that, um... Ooh, I thought that their dialogues were, like... I thought it was it was six dialogues and it has to do with a relationship and I thought it had to do with I thought it, they would like show up at limelight but looking carefully now it actually involves the owners of shops um well the owner of limelight for one and uh well anyway let's see if we can knock this out I'm curious would you like something to drink I don't know, but... That's weird. How do we talk to her? Hello, come on in. Oh, Geoff. Nice to see that you're, you. You're always so active and lively. Speaking of active, I wonder how you know who has been doing... Voldemort? Who's that, you say? Why? You know, Charlie. So he hasn't been opening his noodle shop much, huh? Hmm, I had a feeling. That man sure can cook, but his work ethic leaves something to be desired. That's for sure. He's always been like that. I thought that opening Charlie's noodles would change all that, but I guess I was wrong. It's hard to teach an old dog new tricks. And he's an old dog if I ever saw one. Oh, snap. I thought Marcy um, liked everybody, but I guess she doesn't have a very great opinion of Charlie, China Charlie the Noodle Man. Let's see what uh, he has to say about the whole matter. You're such a good student, never missing a day of school. Just don't overdo it, okay? Life isn't always about working hard, knowing when to sit back and relax. It'll lead to a nice, long, slow-paced life. In life, taking it easy is best. Having fun is, fun is second best. Work is down at number five. <laughs> anyway, that's ours, yeah. I like the, uh... I like your philosophy. I heard I'm right. You're right. <laughs> now that's what I'm talking about. Kick back and enjoy the slow ride of a long life. I do like that philosophy. Oh man, what a drowsy day. I feel like... I would love for it to rain a little, but I guess not. Anyway, speaking of pocket camp, um... We're, we'll probably get our... Uh, June preview pretty soon, which means I have to make another thread. Blech. But uh, last one wasn't too bad actually. I, I'm, I'm just trying to I'm trying to keep it snappy, you know, not belabor things too much by being prissy about everything being perfect. Um, 
Is anyone awake? I feel like I'm sad I didn't see Ralph at all today. I don't know. Would have liked to. But I guess I missed him. I think maybe his personality goes to bed early as well. I don't know. Oh, and Felicia's gone too. What a bummer. Is anyone cool still awake? I guess Brett still is. Alright, the Eric's awake. I'll ask again, is anyone's cool still awake? <laughs> Man, that's too bad. I wanted to hang with Felicia. Oh well, whatever. Um, is there anything else I want to do? I guess I could go in the haunted house and look for the treasure. It's a free item, after all. Yeah, I got the space, I might as well. Oh, and I should see if Wyatt's up, too. I feel like he's not... Well, actually, no. If Eric's awake, Wyatt should be awake. They're the same personality. But what's really been a bummer to me is that this is like my favorite pocket camp month in like legitimately like a year or more. I, it's like finally what I want, just kind of like adventurous and fun. And everyone is complaining on the subreddit about how much this month sucks. I mean, a lot of people are complaining. I mean, it really goes to show that you cannot please everybody because I have been completely miserable for the past couple months and this month has been like the saving grace for me like it's not great actually no it is pretty great like it's, it's nothing fancy or even high effort i just like the diversity in themes like i love that we're finally getting some desert stuff and some ancient ruins some more ancient ruin stuff anything ruiny is like my jam i just really hope that we have a good uh june i i'm worried it's going to be super girly again which I get it. I mean, I think I think Japanese girls are like where the game makes all its money. So I, I can't begrudge it too much for catering to them. But <clears throat> I mean, not that there aren't plenty of girls that like items that aren't like super girly or whatever. I don't know what I'm saying. I feel like something I'm saying is somehow offensive. I don't mean to be. All I'm saying is that that demographic is very lucrative i'm sure um the demographic that likes you know the super girly pastel stuff um so i don't know i just really it bums me out when people complain about the stuff i like but i guess i complain about the stuff people like a lot but whatever it's because my opinion's right and everyone else is wrong not really but i don't know Ah, well, Felicia is not awake. I guess I can't do her. I wanted to hang out with her today. I guess I... I don't know. I only realized I wanted to hang out with her later. Oh. No, this is not a fish. Not that it's a bug either, but... Okay. I think I should start taking niacin again. I used to take that, it's like the stuff that makes you feel like your head is on fire. It's really good for you and supposedly it's like good for long COVID. I, I did feel like it helped a little, but it had diminishing returns after I got used to it. But I can uh, take a look. I think I still have some stashed around. If not, I'll get the kind that I got before. I think it was only like 10 bucks and it was like a huge amount. Like way more than I'd ever need. All right, I'm gonna sell some of this stuff. Hi, Cherry. I don't know, I don't really wanna talk to her. I don't really wanna talk to Rudolph either, but. Uh, I just don't really care what he has to say. I think that was new dialogue, but I was not listening. 
I got fiber internet and it's supposed to never have an outage, but it had an outage today and I feel like it's false advertising considering suing. That said, one outage in like six months is a lot less bad than the other internet I've had, which fiber definitely is way more reliable. I will give them that. All right, all right, all right. I should probably renew my roommate ship with Brett at some point. I keep forgetting to do that. Um, which one's Wyatt? I think this is him. Hey, Wyatt. How are things? Quiet or a riot? I got a bit of a stomach ache and I don't feel like doing everything else today. I'm going to have to turn you down on that offer to play. Well, bitch, you said you had a headache like 18 times. You can't you can't blame me for giving you a headache remedy. Also, why is your chair backwards? It's very weird. All right, I forgot he's sick. <laughs> um, we'll see if he wants the stomach medicine. Well, this game's this day is kind of a downer. Not a lot going on. I'll at least write a letter or something. Why not? <laughs> Sorry, I was just laughing. Uh, I, there's something I wanted to explain, but it's... Yeah. I can't really. Alright. Oh, let's see if I get a stomach remedy. Ugh, Chelsea. Why is she here? What? What do you mean that didn't have a stomach remedy? What? Where are they? Okay. I know I put like 18 billion down. Oh no, she's coming after me. Run away. I've been trying to hang out with this fella, and um, he canceled once due to not feeling so hot, and then I canceled because I had a doctor's appointment pop up, and then he canceled because he got in a car wreck. Ugh, Christmas cake? Gross. Why do we keep getting Christmas shit at the haunted house, other than the fact that that's terrifying? Much scarier than any ghost. And, um, that was, so that was bad. I mean, his parents got in a car accident. Thankfully, they're okay, I think. And then today we're supposed to hang out for the first time again. And then his parents asked him to take him car shopping. So I know it's always for a good reason, but it kind of sucks <laughs> when plans fall through four times in a row. It's like, it kind of feels like you should just kind of give up. But he's pretty cute, so I don't know. No, Tony, go away. You are not cute. I would cancel with you five times in a row. Alright, I'm gonna give Wyatt his goddamn stomach medicine. And he better this better be what he wants. If he has if he wants fever medicine, he's doing a terrible job of communicating with. Okay, well now he wants a fever medicine, but I'm giving him stomach medicine. He can shut up. Really are too good to me. I'll take some later. I'm sorry if my southern accent is completely awful, by the way. I'll still never understand why we could enter Eric's home. It's like the game thought for a day or two that we were Eric or something. It was very weird. He's definitely like the most mysterious character. Lots of strange things seem to happen around him. <sighs> not now, Jerry. I'm just not in the mood.
So next time we play, I'll probably it'll probably be on the 25th, because I can't be arsed to... Ugh, not more of this meat stuff. Um, because I can't be arsed to get back onto the three-day schedule. Oh, Ralph's here. Good, I wanted to, to hang out with him. Saturday really does look satanic. I know I said that before, but it really does. There's no point on planning though, because uh, they'll just cancel. <laughs> Sorry, I'm being such a bitch. <laughs> it really is okay. It's just, um, I don't know. I don't know if it's human nature or if it's me, but like I seem to run into these canceled plans a lot. Oh my god, guys, leave me alone. Seriously. Um, let's play something though while we have everyone here. What's good? We did just learn Sao Paulo Senorita, whatever that means. Oh, I think Chelsea's gonna join us, even though she can't walk around a chair. This is this is pretty bad so far, but that's okay. I don't really feel like I'm swimming under the sea, ready to collect some purple sea urchins. Well, everyone's being boring. Even Ralph isn't joining us. Come on, guys. Uh-oh. Tony's being an asshole. Sorry, I'm invincible because I'm playing the goddamn guitar, Tony. What a prick. I fucking hate him. I hope he moves and then gets hit by a car. <laughs> no, don't you enjoy this, Tony. You don't deserve to enjoy this beautiful song, especially if you're not even contributing. All you're contributing is casting spells at me. I was being kind of a deadbeat too, but that's okay because he's cute. Tony just sucks. Sorry if you're a big Tony fan. Feel free to comment below if you are. Alright, well that was kind of bad, but whatever. No, Chelsea, I didn't hear the news. What's wrong? Why the long face? Is all the horsing around you've been doing? Maybe need a stable relationship. But um, psh, we'll be here all week, ladies and gentlemen. By the way, I heard that Joey was blah 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 blah. Has been nice to experience, so I couldn't ask, but really I wanted to play with Zoe. Oh, okay. He's into the French poodle. I sometimes visit my relatives, but they always talk about when I was younger. How I used to wet the bed or fall down the stairs. It's always something like that. I can't remember my youth, so there's really no point in talking to me about it. This isn't you to say, but but they always give me money, so I put up with it. <laughs> Ain't that the way though? George apologized for scaring me. That werewolf must have been George then, right? I haven't heard any howling lately or any scary shadows. I guess that means I can finally get a good night's sleep. You know what we're like, Geoff? We're like Gilgamesh and Enduku. Arthur and Lancelot. Robin Hood and Little John. Now those are what I call good friends. Well, that's kind of sweet, I guess. It's very literary references. Okay, well, it's less impressive if you say the exact same thing again. Um, should we hang with Ralph for a second? Can we convince him? I can't remember if we're like officially friends. I think we need to be friends. Okay, yeah. Let's let's -a go. Okie dokie. Thank you so much for playing my game. Sorry. Uh, Lord, I really do not want to play Mario Kart later. I just can't get in the mood. Today is such a bad day. It's cloudy out too. I think I'll just stay in bed. Who's saying any takers in all caps? 
Any takers? I have so many love letters that I don't need. Does anyone want them? I'll give them to you. The noise every night was so bothersome, I couldn't sleep. I'll sleep soundly now, though. Okay. Alright. I guess that was a fairly interesting bulletin board. So we offered her love letters to everybody. Um, alright. I'm gonna write a letter, and then I don't really know what to do with Ralph. Um, I guess we could go spelunking. That's always kind of fun. And then after that, I'll probably hop off. Alright, who do we want to talk to? Oh, yeah, Cherry. To Cherry. I was thinking you'd be my sweet little side dish, but it won't work if you can't stop being jealous of Aurora. What do you think? From Geoff. Hopefully that'll get through to her. I'm so sick of her talking about Aurora. It's very, like... It's very uncharming. It's such a turnoff when you're trying to romance a girl and she can't stop talking about your girlfriend. Like, hello? If I only cared about her, what would I be doing here, then? Alright, well, I... Uh, yeah, to be honest, I really don't know what to do with Ralph. Oh, I said I would splunk with him. I guess we can do that real quick. Take me to uh, Splunky Town. I'm really sad that Felicia's not up, though. I did kind of want to hang with her more. She's pretty cool. I might like her a little more than Cherry. But, like, I'm not attracted to her, you know? I just think she's she looks kind of cute and cuddly. But, like, I don't want to bang, you know? <laughs> oh, that's so dumb. <laughs> oh, Eric, get out of my life. But also, please stay. Alright. Let's seek some secrets, shall we, Ralph? I really need to change my hat. Dun, 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 Man, I have that dumb song in my head now. But I can't actually sing it because then I'll get copyright stricken if it's too close to it. Which probably won't be, but... It's on the radio uh, here a lot. But, um... Oh, what's... What? Oh, here's Felicia! Oops, what have we got in done now? So, is there something I can help you with? I have a friend who's well me into food. It's amazing to me that someone can be so particular about what to eat. That's why I bet though that if you're too picky, your grocery bills start to get very expensive. Oh my god, why are you being so mean, Ralph? Oh my god. Ralph, I'm trying to like make friends here. Can you not be so mean? Oh, she's like running away. I can't even talk to her. Oh, just what am I doing here anyway? Strange. Very strange. Do you already know? Now that George is doing better, now spelling is dropped, and I don't see moving shadows anymore. I was so scared. I didn't know what to do. I know George didn't mean to scare people. He couldn't help what he became. Plus, he did say sorry for me for scaring me like he did. My name's Felicia. I talk like this. I, sorry, I don't, know where, I don't know where that was going. I kind of want to abandon Ralph for Felicia. Is that mean? Ooh, we should, like, 
play a cute little song. Cause I don't I don't know what Felicia plays. What's a cute little lullaby? Um I don't know. She's probably gonna get mad at me soon if because I'm in her way. Um Well, that's very lovely. I guess Ralph is gonna play too. This isn't really a lullaby though. This also isn't really working. It's, it's fine, it's fine guys, but uh, I appreciate the effort. Okay, Ralph's done with us, so I don't have to feel guilty. I want to hang with Felicia. This is actually my idea. I wanted to splunk with her to begin with. She's actually here. What, where is she? Like, what is she doing, though? Oops, what have I got in Danielle? So, is there something I can help you with? You know, kids aren't the only people who have to learn things. People have to study their whole damn lives. I'm going to start working. I shouldn't have put the damn in there. It's really out of character for her. They need to learn about their jobs. It's a little depressing just thinking about it. That's why. Right. I don't know if we're friends or not. Ugh. Can I give her something? What would she like? Would she like this animal bone? Or would that come across as like a threat? Thanks, Geoff. Okay, well, I, th I don't think she hated it. I'd really like to hang out with her, but she doesn't seem very interested. Okay, well, Ralph's still here. Should we try playing something else, I guess? I don't know. Also, she's like, I don't know. This is very confusing. It's very rare that you can, like, socialize in the cave. Like, especially with <laughs> more than one person. Uh, fairy dance? Uh, like the end of me, Lotus. Micro nature is kind of a cute little song. It's not really a what I'd consider a lullaby though. Subterranean is very slow paced. I don't know if it's like a full on. Starting back at the beginning. Um. Dandelion Snow is kind of a lullaby. I mean, not really, but like maybe the live version will sound like one. Please tell me Felicia didn't disappear. Okay. Um, it's going to be hard getting these two to get together, though. It would be a lot easier if Felicia could like... I'm trying to like lure Ralph this way. That's right. Or that's why, as Felicia would say. Alright. Dandelion Snow. Let's do this. No, come back. This isn't really any better, honestly. Okay, Felicia seems um, intensely unimpressed. Why is my friendship so low with her? Is it because Ralph did that mean thing? Oh, well, this is so depressing. Guys, come back. It's a perfect... It's 9.55 p.m. It's the perfect time to play music in the cave. Oh, I think he was convinced by my compelling argument. No, not really. Ralph is a cutie. Goddamn. Oh, well, screw you, too. Being very indecisive. Did Felicia actually leave? God damn it, no. Felicia. I was wanting to talk and hang with you. Ugh. Talk about heartbreak. 
Wait, maybe I'll leave and come back, and maybe she'll, like, respawn. I don't know. I don't really want to finish my splunking without her. Ralph, this is all your fault somehow. No offense, Ralph, I like you, but you were being pretty mean to her. Okay, is she, like, out here? Oh, here she is, okay. Felicia, let's talk some more. Or is she actually just going back in the cave? Okay, she went back in the cave. I don't know if... I don't know, can I give her more gifts? Oh, I am such a clumsy person, and what can I do for you? I want some nice clothes, so I went to the shops. But I bought everything, the shop person recommended, and I spent all my money just like that. I really wish I had bought so many things I didn't really want. That's right. But it's so hard to say no to people. Yeah, I get, I get that. Do you have to have some time on your hands? I should just say, I saw two butterflies flying together. That's why. Right. Maybe they were boyfriend and girlfriend. It made me feel kind of jealous to see them having so much fun. I don't think the butterflies were having fun. I don't know if they're senty enough to, like, actually have fun, Felicia. But we can catch this salamander. That's fun. Yes, I would love to talk, but, like, can we hang out, actually? Do I have to, like, give her more stuff? What kind of flowers does she like? Ugh, I don't want to look this up. I have a life. Um, Magician's Quest, Felicia. Oh, I just realized why she's named that. It sounds like Fleece. That's kind of weird, because I feel like most... I feel like most names are not really uh, puns. In this game. I mean, maybe like a third, but definitely fewer than Animal Crossing. Oh, yeah, she's she's pretty nice to play. Oh, um, I actually have some free time today. How would you like to play with me? Let's play. Thanks. What well, makes me happy to hear you say that? I think you'll find up going to play after school. Well, um, let's go. Well, it is, um, almost 10 o'clock, so I definitely think it's, uh, categorized as after school, but. It might be pretty long after school. All right, let us do this shing. Let's keep splunking. All right. Anything up here? I can't stay too long in here because uh, or else she'll leave. Okay, we took a simple ore. Eh, I would take her to Limelight, but I think that sends the wrong message. Even though I am curious what romantic type she is. Uh, no. A chicken bone. Delicious. I kind of wish that it wasn't like, I don't know. Chick-fil-A is tasty, and I know I shouldn't think that as a gay person or whatever, but, you know, sue me. I don't think my $7 is really going to, you know, make that much of a difference. But, um, they are always so packed in the South. Well, I mean, I guess the South is basically only where they ever are, but Every time I pass by, you know, there's just a huge line all around the place. Maybe if I go there at, like, 3 p.m. or something, I could manage. But, like, Jesus Christ, it's just not like, not worth it most of the time. I mean, I guess they do keep it pretty quick, though. I mean, even if there, if there was a really long long, you can usually get through it in, like, 10 minutes. Or maybe 15 minutes on a bad day, but it's usually not that bad. It just, like, gives me claustrophobia. I don't even like to be involved in anything with crowds of that size. Ah, <sighs> well, I don't know. We don't have much else to do. Should we just, like, um... I wish I could... Maybe I could just jerry-rig it and figure out... And that's not the right word. Improvise and... I feel like... I feel like she would, like... Oh, what's that? Oh, a spider. Um... Okay, I didn't realize it was hiding in there. 
quite big. I forget that bugs can like legit be hiding inside flowers. I, I know they say that, but I didn't understand that was actually what they meant. I thought it meant you could still see them. Or like maybe you still kind of can see them, I don't know. Um. I'm curious what her favorite food is. I doubt it's the pizza. What's this for? Oh, a poison for me? Really? Thank you. I'm really impressed. You know exactly what I like. I'll treasure it forever. You're welcome. I just had a feeling. It just sort of suited her, the May lilies. I'm glad I guessed correctly. I really didn't look that up for what it's worth. Okay, you don't want to have a tea party. I don't- I don't understand. I don't understand the logic at all. We could ha we could have three tea parties when, during Miss Straw's event, but maybe that's the only time? I don't get it. <sighs> Alright. Well, I'm gonna hop off pretty soon. I am enjoying spending time with Felicia, though. Oh wow, that really boosted our friendship rating with her. Like 10 points. Hey Cherry, did you get my letter? What do you think? When it comes to choosing a boyfriend, I don't care about looks. I want someone who's kind, who studies hard, and who is beautiful on the inside. You can always tell how good someone is on the inside by how they look on the outside. Mmm, sweet. Wait. Does that mean I do care about looks? Hmm. Now I'm confused. Come back here, Cherry. We want to sleep with you. Oh, man. Well, what is it? Please don't leave. Uh... Oh, I just had it backwards. I should have known. Oh, okay. Really good opportunity here. Surprised they aren't jumping away. Oh, come on. Don't disperse. Why isn't it working on Cherry? I thought I'd be... I thought we'd be close enough to her for it to work. I wish you could, like, kind of manipulate your path a little bit, but you really can't. You're just helplessly floating on the wind or whatever. Oh, Felicia looks very content. I'm a sleepy boy. Okay, let's see if we can get more people in on this. Where, where did everybody go? Oh no. Okay. Cherry, you just like pick somewhere to stand, okay? We need you to stand still. Why isn't it working? I thought if you're close enough, it should work. Our time is running out. Felicia's gonna get fed up with hanging out with us because we don't have a very high. Is, is Cherry not sleepy? I'm really insulted right now. We are hot shit around this town. She should be jumping at the plant at the chance to sleep with us. I'll give you one last chance, Cherry. I see Felicia. Felicia's happy to sleep with us. Whatever. <laughs> Who needs you, Cherry? Ugh, clearly she didn't take my letter to heart. Ugh. It was an extremely polite, thoughtful offer for her to be our side piece. Aw, oh, well, Felicia is super cute, though, so... 
Alright, well I guess this is about all that's gonna happen today. I guess we could try, maybe we could try to play another song with Felice, uh, with uh, Cherry, if if she doesn't leave yet. Okay, I'm going inside then outside to refresh our hangout, hangonometer, hang, hangoutometer, or hangout timer, I don't know. Cherry's still around. Problem is when they don't sit still, it's like they're around, but the second you like try to plop down in front of them, they're just gonna run away. It's past 10 now, so I really shouldn't expect most people to be out. I also really can't find a good lullaby. Dandelion Snow would have been alright though. Is that Zoe or Cherry? That is Cherry. All right, Cherry, why don't you join us? Mm, I don't know, I'm feeling like something more mellow. Um, what about, I don't know, sister, sister of mine, I don't know. The Rainbow March? The seventh music room is actually kind of a relaxing song. I don't know if Cherry's actually still heading this way. Oh yay, we did get her. I do not even recognize this song. It sounds nothing like the studio version. It's not bad, I guess, but it's not exactly good either. Okay, actually, Felicia's page did just load. I forgot I looked it up on my phone. I didn't look at the page yet, but it was loading. Apparently she's the passive type. She likes the Chinese series and the disco series. Her scent is refreshing. I don't know how to smell people in this game. I'm sure that's a later thing. It's probably more like the scent they enjoy, like if you put it in your shop or whatever. Oh, is uh, Tony gonna? Oh, you know, I can kind of recognize this song now, but it's it's like, it's missing the melody. It goes like, da-da-da. Or, well, I don't know. It goes. Well, like, it's out of, I have the timing wrong now. Okay, it goes like. No? Okay, never mind. Like that. Okay, we're done. We're done. Bye, guys. That was fun, though, I guess. Maybe, you know, I should go now. Yeah, I think I should. Well, see you later. Hey, Cherry. Jeff? Mmm, sweet. How have you been? So, I get to school and open my bag, and there's nothing in it. Mmm, sweet. I don't really care if I forget my textbooks. But, like, a girl has to have her purse with her, you know? I don't know. Well, that was a pretty good episode. Thanks for joining me. I always really appreciate it. And, um, sorry if I am a little out of it lately, but I feel like I was less out of it than other times. I think the key is if you feel like taking a nap, to actually take a nap and then finish, more later, finish my, my recording later and also remember to speak English. 
Um, okay, I always take 18 hours to close these, so I'm just gonna say fare thee well. Hope you're doing well out there. Feel free to leave a comment if you want to, but no pressure. And I will catch you later. Or maybe I won't. If you pass away before the next video comes, you know, comes out, then that's kind of sad. But maybe it was your time, you know? All right, well, that was really dark and I don't really know how to finish this, but uh, hopefully that won't be the case. But you know, I don't know. It's part of life, I guess. God, what am I saying? All right, bye, bye. Farewell. Sorry. Bye. <laughs>